Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobot Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're having a little look at a game uh, which, I, I gotta confess, doesn't have a fantastic name. This is Unnamed Space Idol. Uh, as you can probably imagine, this is an incremental upgrade game uh, that you can maybe kind of have in the background. Anyway, let's jump into things and see what we have got in store. I really like this game. It's got a very, very interesting concept. It does a few things kind of differently from other upgrade games, incremental games that you might have come across. Uh, there is a, you know, a really sort of, I guess, positive forward momentum that you can accumulate and utilize uh, over the course of this game. Now, this is the sort of starting screen. Uh, it's been 10,485 years since you were stored. You've been inserted into a bio sleeve as the time. Of, you know what? I, I the, the lore is frankly not important for me. Now, uh, we control this little ship here. Let's, let's, let's just do this. Let's just do this for now. So we control this little ship here. Uh, there's a couple of things that I want to do just sort of from the outset. Yeah, so um, we, we have some little controls here. Uh, our ship uh, our ship will fire against uh, enemies that come down from the top. Happy days. We've got a little shield bar uh, down at the bottom here. Uh, we do damage. Uh, happy days. We also have some controls. So we can go forward, uh, we can go backwards, uh, or we can auto advance, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. We'll, we'll, we'll address this video game. We're, we're, we're getting, we're getting to this. We're getting to this. We're on, we're on this, we're on this stage here. I'm explaining the, the mechanics. Anyway, uh, we will control the, uh, the ship. Our, our, our aim of the game is to get to the end of the sector. As you can see, we're in the sector at the moment. Uh, we have gone 1.09, I don't know, uh, milliparsecs, I, I, whatever distance of, of measurement it is. We can retreat back to the very, very start if we want to. We can advance. We're going to be doing that. Don't you worry about that. Anyway, uh, as these ships come out of uh, come out of wherever they're coming from, uh, we are going to destroy them. As we destroy them, we are going to get resources. So this is salvage. Uh, this is basically what we're going to be utilizing in order to upgrade all of our components. Uh, this is going to give us an average sort of amount of salvage that we get uh, every second. And then we also have this void matter. Void matter is another upgrade resource. We're going to be utilizing both of them. Uh, occasionally, there will be a little bit of scrap that comes down from the top, and that scrap we can click on manually, and it'll give us a little bit of a additional salvage. So far, so good. Now, as you can imagine, as we progress through the sector, and indeed through space, as indicated by this little, uh, little flame in the back of the jet, uh, we are going to come across stiffer and stiffer resistance. So we're going to see more enemies, they're going to do more damage, they're going to have more HP, and just generally they are going to become more challenging uh, to, to go up against. But you know what, let's go as far as we possibly can and see how and see how this goes. Uh, yeah, the other thing that I should say about this game, this one kind of passed me by when it came out last year. Uh, so I'm rectifying that right now, and I'm having a little look at it. Um, I should also point out that this is completely free to play. Now, there is an element of microtransaction in this game, but it doesn't actually affect the way that you play the game at all. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit um, when I explain how that sort of mechanic works. This just seems to be a pretty darn good, uh, interesting free idle game, which is honestly phenomenal. Anyway, when shields are reduced to zero, the ship will automatically engage an emergency retreat until shields are back to full and then stop. So that's what happens. Shields have now reached zero. Uh, we made 5.2 progress. We're now going to see this bar go down until thing the shields get to zero and then we're going to be in stop, uh, in stop position and I'm going to start advancing again. So that's basically that's basically what we are uh, what we are going to do. Now, obviously, the further we advance, the more salvage that we're going to be able to get per second. So it's definitely advantageous to be moving forward. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not particularly mo bothered about moving forward, you know, whilst I'm explaining things. Anyway, um, thank you. Okay, there's a there's another clickable. This is a whatever it is, a void a void energy boost. It boosts non combat systems, um, which does a whole bunch of things that doesn't particularly matter at the moment, but we'll, you know, we'll get to the upgrades. Let's get to the upgrades. Let's actually, let's actually look at upgrades. So we've only got two systems uh, available at the moment. And as we reach different sectors, we're going to unlock different sort of systems in the ship, which is pretty darn cool. I like that as a, I like that as a concept. At the moment, we've got two systems that are available to us. One, we've got the core of the ship. Uh, we are able to upgrade either the weapon systems or the shield generator systems uh, by spending salvage. We're going to do that. Uh, in fact, if we uh, upgrade this a couple of times, it 
progressively gets more and more expensive. Uh, you can see, by the way, that our damage range fire rate is being adjusted. Damage per second is actually increasing. Anyway, if we get to the end tier, we're going to unlock an ability. This is a laser boost ability, and this actually increases our fire rate, which is pretty darn nice. It's got a 45 second cooldown. It lasts for 10 seconds. Um, I'll use it. I'm not going to use it right now because there's not really any enemies uh, in here. But the point remains is that we unlock an ability here and we unlock a shield boost ability as well if we can try and get this. And actually, you can see, look at that, max shields is increasing. So not only do we get additional shields, we've now got the shield boost uh, and also shield regen. Uh, I think will hopefully increase at some point as well. Either way, these get progressively more expensive. We obviously need to be collecting more salvage in order to get access to them. Let's see if we can try and make a little bit of forward momentum. So this is the sort of core upgrade. There's a whole bunch of different sort of upgrades. This will uh, adjust the cooldown on these abilities. This will adjust uh, the, the weapon power. Uh, we have to pick one. These are mutually exclusive. But anyway, this is a very, very, very long, uh, very, very long tree because of the fact that it does actually get progressively more and more expensive. So there we go. Anyway, uh, let's check out the second tab. The second tab is a little bit more interesting. So this is this is a computation um, power tab. And this basically utilizes the void matter resource that we've been picking up a little bit. Let's continue to progress forward. Uh, basically, we, we need to focus on this part of the screen here. Compute speed is at 1. Compute power is at 10 out of 10. We can basically allocate computational resource to either damage or shields, and that is going to allow us to basically get progressively more and more, uh, more and more, more and more stuff. So let's allocate five, um, five computational resources to each shields. Uh, when this finishes, we are going to level up, and that is going to give us an additional damage boost. There we go, 1.1. So it gives us 1.1 whatever the current damage that we have. And see so if we click on that void matter, I think that's going to impact the speed that this happens at. So that's pretty good. Anyway, uh, let's stop moving forward just for a second. Uh, as you can see, we are getting we're getting additional levels here. The damage boost is increasing. It um, it diminishes over time. So, our, you know, we're not going to be able to get uh, as much from each from each iteration of this completing but it's still worthwhile to do because obviously we've got the resources and in fact we can increase our computation power and that's going to give us more compute speed. Uh, we'll throw half more into there and half into there. Beautiful. We should be able to gain a whole bunch of a whole bunch of resource. Now, uh, I'm going to pop my shield. There we go. So that's going to increase my shield generation. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, and let's press forward. Let's press on. Let's press on. Let's see if we can do anything about this threat imminent we've reached the bar up at the top here let's see what that actually means for us um it might it might spell our end but if it does that's no problem at all so we got a big old boss here let's go laser mode yeah um we're gonna increase our fire rate yeah we didn't quite make it we're gonna have to retreat i think we're gonna retreat we're gonna wait until both of our cooldowns are off maybe spend a few points on upgrades we'll stay in the stop position and then we'll uh we'll have another crack at it but that's completely fine absolutely as i would expect. Right, uh, where do we want to be putting our extra resources? Into weapon power or into um, shield generation? I think probably glass cannon is, is maybe more my style. Let's see if we can try and throw as many resources into this. Again, it becomes more and more expensive. Boom. Some milestones of your core provide more than one option. Only one can be active at a time per section. By default, the top action will be activated. Um, yeah, we can swap. So we either get uh, weapon power damage times one point. 1.25, which is kind of nice. Alternatively, uh, we can have 10 seconds off our laser boost cooldown, which is uh, which is quite nice. Let's see if we can try and move forward. I'll keep both of these uh, options available for the boss fight at the end, which is quite nice. Let's see if we can try and get shields. I don't think that we're going to be able to get the whole level. We're going to get close to it, but that that's okay. That's completely fine. Either way, not necessarily the end of the world. We'll clean up these enemies, and then we'll save our resources for the... Uh, for the boss fight. Also, we got an achievement. Very, very nice indeed. Beautiful. Okay, uh, we got a little bit of extra shield durability there. Let's activate the firing mode. Easy. Not even, not even close. And we got a load of salvage as well. Beautiful. Okay, we've overcome our first big obstacle. Looks like uh, the ship is fully intact. Uh, we can utilize uh, the synth, the synth tab. Excellent. Thank you very much. I will talk about the synth tab in my own time video game. Okay. Okay, quite a lot happened. Let's uh, let's see if we can sort of st stop. First of all, we've moved into sector number two, which is quite nice. 
very, very happy days. Uh, we're getting a load of additional salvage. Look at this, 19.72 per second. Still not much void matter, but look, at the end of the day, that's that's not a that's not a big deal. Um, we've also got a bunch of additional new AI upgrades. Um, so I'm going to close all of them, but I'm going to come back to it. We've also unlocked this synth tab. The way that the synth tab works is that it allows us to craft resources. Now, um, there's only a couple of resources that are available to us at the moment. That may change in the future. Uh, but what we can basically do is we can refine alloy from the from the salvage that we have. It's going to take five seconds. There's, you know, different recipes over here. They all use the refined alloy. So let's do that. Let's turn this on. The synth speed is one. Of course, this can be modified. It will indeed be modified. Uh, we'll we'll get there. Don't don't you worry about that. But anyway, what is the point of making all of these resources? You know, at relatively great expense because it's going to cost us our salvage, and of course, we need that salvage in order to uh, upgrade our core. I'll tell you, uh, we can. We can activate and turn on some modules. Now we've got a uh, we've got a module here, an, eff an offense efficiency. This is going to multiply damage, uh, two times damage if we're able to create this. We need four circuits and we need one focuser. Um, we can't check out the recipe without changing it, but the point is, yeah, it's going to take five or five times four of these, so twenty. 20 ingots in order to create this, and then also 20 ingots to create that. So we need 40 ingots. We basically need 40 ingots before we're going to be able to before we're going to be able to create that module. And we've also, of course, got a, a shield module as well, which is basically the same thing. We can activate these. Um, we can only have three on at any given time, but that's fine. Right? Let's see if we can try and move forward. I'd like to. I'd like to see if we can try and make a little bit of progress. Any additional computational power that I can get? Sure. Again, let's keep this totally equal. Multiplying damage. Um, also, it looks like there's an, an additional sort of ship that has um, that has been introduced. Looks like my cannon is sort of prioritizing. Yeah, it looks like it's prioritizing the big ones over the small ones. Probably completely fine. Just maybe something that we need to consider. Either way, we're, we're going to be coming up against stiffer resistance, but that's completely, you know, to be anticipated. Anyway, uh, what do I want to throw my resources into? Do I want to go into offense, defense? You know what they say, the best, the best defense is a great offense. I'm not sure anybody says that, but hey-ho. Anyway, we'll get that void power. Now you can sort of start to see what it means. Salvage amount multiplier times two, void power generation times two, synth speed, which is, which is pretty darn great, uh, times two. So really, really valuable having this uh, void energy boost for however long it actually is in existence for. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. How much, how much refined alloy did I say that I needed? I needed, uh, I needed five. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we... We can turn on. We can turn this on. Uh, turn this off. Uh, we're now in materials. Uh, the synth button will flash. Yeah, we'll probably leave that on. That's that's okay. Right. Uh, we're engaging in a tactical retreat. Uh, but I'm going to continue to press us forward because I would like to. Weapon power or laser cooldown boost. To be fair, there's no point in having a laser cooldown boost if I'm not flipping using it. So let's let's maybe play a little bit more of an active role, watching the uh, watching this as we go, eh? Right, some good shield, some good shield in there, 37, 38, 40. Yeah, let's see if we can try and flip to, see if we can try and flip to production of circuits in just a second. There we go, let's make circuits. We'll get four circuits, I think, that's what we want. And also, yep, I'm paying attention here, I'm gonna boost. I'm gonna boost, and I'm gonna also utilize my laser firing speed. Let's do it. Right. Two, three, and four. Excellent. Turn that off. And then we're still going to end up tactically retreating, but that's okay. I'll get a focuser because the focuser is what we need in order to create the offense module. That's good. Let's turn that on and let's get that done. Okay, so that is going to take about a minute. That's not too bad. In fact, it'll give me the opportunity to upgrade my computation power whilst we're waiting. I've put all of them into damage. I can adjust them. But you know what? I don't care. I'm I'm happy with that. Let's let's work on our damage for a little bit. To be fair, we're not one-shotting these dudes anymore, so it would be kind of nice to be able to do that. It'd be really, really nice to be able to do that. And oh let's Oh my goodness gracious me. That was that was quite summon. That was quite summon indeed, wasn't it? Okay, we've got loads and loads of resources. Let's let's pile them all into shields here, because I'm a little bit behind the curve on shields. And shields are so good because they just they just give us more HP to work with. You know, it allows us to soak up a little bit more uh, a little bit more damage. 
Okay, but we're making good progress, I think. Nothing too shabby here. Let's uh, let's move forward a little bit. Let's see if we can get those last... Hold here. Hold here for a second. Retreat a little bit. There we go. Ah, I just, I just used my, I just used my, uh, just used my thingy. There we go. Okay, max shield durability or shield boost duration. I mean, that's, shield boost cooldown, 0 0.75. I mean, that's a, that's a quarter off. Yeah, that's, that's from 45 to 33 seconds. That seems pretty darn huge. Shield boost duration. I mean, yeah, that's not too, that's not too bad at all. I like that a lot. Okay, synth, we're out of resources. That's completely fine. Um, we do not want to be retreating. We want to be moving forward. Uh, let's hold here for a while. Uh, check out our synth. Let's go into modules. And I would like to immediately get back to making refined alloy. I will also point out that we will have the ability to increase the uh, the XP level of each and every individual uh, manufacturing of each ability or each each thing. Uh, anyway, let's create, let's create this. Beautiful. Um, that's nice. Let's turn it on. Okay, good. Uh, we have got we've got a bunch of damage. We got a bunch of damage. We're now one shot in these chumps. That's great. Let's let's see if we can try and move forward. I like that. I like that a lot. Computation power. Are we ready to increase yet? No, we're not. No, we are not. Right. Do I want to change anything here? Laser boost cooldown. Honestly, maybe want to change the laser boost cooldown as opposed to having the damage multiplier. But I think one one of each is one of each is completely fine. Right. Don't think that we're going to see any other major upgrades before we get to the boss here. Depends on how tough the enemies become, I suppose, doesn't it? And I suppose how much salvage I continue to get. Holy cow, that is a decent, decent amount of salvage. Uh, right. Let's see. This is all looking good. Synth is looking fine. We need another, what is it, 40? I think it's, yeah, it's 40... Yeah, 40, uh, 40 resources in order to make the defensive uh, the defensive uh, module for us. That is fine. Okay, so whilst that's all happening, let's have a little look. So we've got an achievement uh, area here. Destroy X number of enemies, you know, clear X number of sectors, uh, sustain one power boot. I don't know what the heck this is. But anyway, look, there's lots and lots of stuff. Happy days. If we get achievements, then we will get something called... Also, I need to be paying close attention here to my shield levels. How are we doing? Oh, we're not doing too bad. Um, I will get something called AI points. Now, AI points are gained from achievements, backup saves, codes, other systems, etc. We can spend them here. Uh, they'll become available. We'll gain enough to unlock everything through normal gameplay. Indeed, we will. Okay. So let's let's hold let's hold here for just a second. See if we can try and farm a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna use the shield boost. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get. Oh yeah. See, look at that. We're not quite one shotting yet. That's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a bummer. Use the use the laser boot use the laser boost here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a retreat, but that's fine. Anyway, um, so yeah, what have we what have we got here upgrade wise? Uh, we've got unlocks. You know, we've got quality of life stuff. Unlocks buttons that allow you to rearrange the main feature tabs. Um, that doesn't really matter. Enables toggling for automatic buying core upgrades every five seconds. See, that's pretty darn good. Enables smart crafting for the first the first synth slot, which will automatically craft the needed materials. That's amazing. That's 450 AI points. We've got 110 at the moment. Uh, we also we also have the ability to unlock more AI points, and that's going to give us a salvage amount multiplier. We can also purchase them for like whatever it is, real money. As I say. Uh, it's very, very important to note, uh, you can unlock, um, you can unlock all the stuff through, uh, through, like, in-game, through in-game play, uh, which I think is, is tremendously cool, and honestly, like, just, like, essential, in my opinion. Um, anyway, uh, we got a really, really decent amount of salvage right now, what do I want to, what do I want to do? Shield damage, plus 20%, weapon power, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna have enough to get the shields, to be honest. Let's do, let's do weapon damage. I don't even have enough for weapon damage, to be fair. How are we doing compute-wise? Let's do compute-wise. Let's go max into shields. There we go. We're slowly but surely seeing our shields tick up. It's not by much, but it's, it's, it's fine. Right, let's go and swap over to this so that we can actually get ourselves. Let's hold here. I don't want to push, I don't want to push up to the boss until I get this uh, defensive module. I will say, by the way, we can upgrade this offensive module again. It's just going to cost us more and more resources. Uh, I want to get this this defensive module on uh, on first. 
There we go. Beautiful. Let's get the laser thingy toggled on. And let's see if we can try and get... We might actually end up taking a little bit of damage here. No, actually, we're completely fine. That laser, that laser boost was really, really good. I think we're going to struggle to survive past here, but that's okay. What do we get? We unlocked an achievement for summing. Emergency retreat 10 times. That's embarrassing. That's very embarrassing. But it's all part of the... All part of the plan. Right. Okay. Press on press on forward a little bit. There we go. It's good. And I really, really, really want to get this next next bonus before we uh before we advance. I'm still like one I'm still one shotting most people. There we go. Beautiful. Threat imminent. We are gonna face the boss, so let's, you know, let's throw let's throw the shield booster on. And let's get prepared at maximum, maximum shields. Synth is ready. Okay, let's, let's boost, boost, boost. We actually, oh, we didn't get him. We didn't get him. We were, well, we were so close there. We're very, very close. Okay, give me this. Uh, synth tab is flashing. I've created 12 flipping circuits. Goodness gracious me. That's really, really annoying. Okay, that's why I need to keep an eye on the, the, the tab. Okay, let's hold here. Let's get this. Let's get this uh, booster thing first before we before we get there. Yeah. Oh boy. This is this is like this is this is like stressful. This is this is stressful. Okay, I want to move right up to the line. I want to move right up to the line so that we're getting the the most value for money of all of the sort of salvage that we have. We are one shot in these guys, so clearly something is improved. Let's hold here. Go back to core. Let's get this. Excellent. Weapon damage multiplier, 1.25. Uh, shield damage synergy. All shield damage plus 20%. Reach 1,000 compute levels. Great. Shield boost, please. Shield boost. I would like to not die here. Uh, I'll take... Yeah, I'll leave it on the damage for now. Okay, synth. Let's get this done. And then back into this. Hit you. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it here. There we go. Fire, fire, fire. Fast mode, fast mode, fast mode. Let's get that done. Let's get that. Let's get... Sure. I'll get some I'll get some additional resources into shields. I do not think that we're going to be able to get this upgrade before we face our enemies, uh, our, our big boss anyway. Uh, but we're right on we're right on the boss's door. So, I'd love to get this module before we before we fight the boss. Uh, whether or not we will be able to do that, I'm not sure. I'd also love to be going in with these resources uh, or these uh, these active abilities, like 100% ready to rock and roll. These little these little these little guys are nasty, honestly. They're just really really irritating. All right, come on, get us across the line here. Get us across the line. Amazing. We've got it. Okay. Boom. Let's get this. Get it created. Let's get it activated. Okay. Multiplies max shields by two. I mean, is that not just insane? I mean, we have literally just completely doubled our ability to do everything here. I mean, that's just that's just perfect. 2,400. That is amazing. Okay. Let's finish off these chumps and then let's move forward. Let's go and, let's go and take out the enemy here. Okay. So we're not only going to face the enemy with basically zero... Basically zero enemies on the field before we move up to it. Clear these clear these noobs out. I'll take that to adjust my synth speeds. Excellent. And we'll wait until you're in range. And honestly, I'm not anticipating any difficulties here. That was so easy, honestly. This is fantastic. Okay, now that your competence has been illustrated, we can permit serious resources to you. An unknown alien device was recovered 4,829 years ago. Very precise, isn't it? After much study, it was found to be similar to the enemy's technologies. We could do interesting things with their materials. Okay. Void shards. Shards can fit into certain slots and will receive a bonus in addition to the base effect defending on the slots. These will stay with us at all times. Shards can be combined with other shards of the same name. We already have two, so try combining them, dragging one onto the other. Okay. Okay, let's hold here. Great. Uh, can I put that in here? Red is fire rate. 
what is this? Orange compute speed. Do I care? Fire rate? What do I care more about? We've also got this as well. A compute shard. Void matter drop amount or orange salvage amount multiplier. I think we'll take salvage amount multiplier. And do I just continue to drag that onto there? Yeah, sure. Nice. That's great. Excellent. Amazing. Okay. Well, I guess we've got um, I guess we've got some new stuff. Right. Let's check out AI. What have we got? 130 points. I don't really care about quality of life stuff. I've got to be honest. New shard discovered. We got lots and lots of new shards. I'm delighted that we've got new shards. It's great. I'm not sure I'm overly overly bothered by that. Let's see if we can try and get this next shield upgrade. You've got a shield on you as well. Okay, that's potentially problematic. We're going to need to keep an eye out for you. But we're going to be able to get our next shield upgrade, which is amazing. Uh, we should still be synthing a bunch of refined alloy. I've got eight circuits. So I can effectively make... I can effectively make a new upgrade. Let's get shields. I mean, shields seem... Shields seem pretty amazing. So let's do that. Let's also get this fully maxed out. I think, you know what? I think we're going to be able to make some pretty good progress. Although these, these enemies do seem to be increasing at a very, very rapid rate. 1.25 times shield. I mean, we've just... Over the course of about two minutes there, we've managed to pretty much double our... Double our stuff. Um, right. We've got eight. Eight on eight on this pile. Four on this pile. There's a little meter that sort of goes up. That's that's fine. Uh, synth wise, let's get let's get this booster. Yeah, it's booster that we need to make. Right. Booster. We need two boosters, please. It's the only thing that we can actually make. I should point out, by the way, uh, there's also like synth points as well that we can that we can get, but these all cost like five um, five synth points. So we need to do more leveling up in order to get more synth points if that makes sense uh we haven't actually got that yet but we but we will okay keep on pressing on we're almost halfway through the sector no real no real resistance to speak of have i jinxed it i may have jinxed it i'm not worried though right what's our next what's our next upgrade rapid fire laser power boost shield durability i mean shield durability has done us really 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 well but i think we're going to spend a little bit of point a little bit of point capability on some upgrades. Void power, excellent. That's going to speed up our our synth speed. And let's do let's do rapid fire as well. We do need to be making a little bit of progress offensively as well as defensively. We've dedicated quite a lot of resources to our defense uh, recently. Anyway, let's jump into modules. Uh, we can't buy it yet. We need two, of course. I forgot about that. Uh, v devices. Let's get these all stacked up. What's this do? Show dots. Oh, that shows us which uh, slot we can put it in. Nice. Pretty good. Happy with that. Let's go shield boost again. And we'll keep on we'll keep on keeping on on that front. We'll get the boost here, go rapid fire again. A little bit worried that we might be be in a little bit of trouble. Switch back to here. And let's go into modules. Let's get defensive. Upgraded. Amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. 9,000 shield. It is, a, it is a little bit of a problem. We are able to outlast the enemy, but we're... we're. I feel like we're, we're not able to destroy the enemy, and um, that is maybe a little bit of a problem. We'll see if we can try and throw some uh, some damage upgrades uh, on here. Go... I'm not really worried about losing my HP here, am I? I kind of am. Okay, let's go and rapid fire as well. Nice. All things considered, that's not too bad. Computation power. I've not really improved my computation power in a while. I've made some massive forward progress, though, so that's pretty darn good. But I think that we're probably going to be coming up against it very, very soon indeed. Shard-wise, though, that's looking absolutely fine. AI points, can we do anything? No, we're still, we're still waiting. Still waiting for, you know, anything that's not quality of life. And I'm sure this is really, really important, but I feel like these are, you know, on the automation front, it would be so nice to have, you know, it'd be so nice to have the ability to automatically buy upgrades every five seconds. I mean, that'd be pretty darn huge, right? So I, th I think we should be holding out for that. Man, my fire rate just sucks so hard, doesn't it? All right, rapid fire. Shields as well. No point in not shielding, right? 
I will say, we've basically got to the end of this sector. I don't want to say it's not been close at a couple of times, but like, we've managed pretty comprehensively, I gotta be honest. It'd also be nice to auto, um, like, upgrade these shards. That'd be kind of nice. There we go. Yeah, this is where we're going to start having some problems, I think. Yeah, okay. That's our first our first pushback of the sector. Not exactly amazing, but not exactly terrible either. Let's continue to push forward, because honestly, I think that we can get darn close to the enemy, uh, the enemy boss, uh, and that'd be quite nice. Okay, we've got, um, we've got some synth points. What do we want? Damage starter, um, a damage boost for lasers. Shield boost, compute power level, uh, resource starter, salvage amount multiplier 1.1.5. I mean that would be really really good, right? I think we gotta go. We gotta go for that. Sure, let's let's do it. Okay, boost, boost, boost. I'm not gonna utilize the laser. Okay. Go 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 go. Rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire. We're going to take a lot of damage here. Yeah, if I came in here with a shield booster, I might be okay. But at at present, going in without the shield booster, that's a bit of a problem. Compute power, we are very, very close to the next level of void matter. So that's kind of nice. Let's, uh, let's press forward now. It's good. Remember, we need to be going into this with all of our resources. So we kind of just have to... You know, we just kind of have to chug through these these chumps here. But we're getting loads of resources because of it, so which is quite nice. There we go, and the boss is here. You know what? This is this is fine. Wait until you're in range. Wait until you start firing. There we go, and we'll get ready. We can sustain one more hit. Shield boost. Nice. Fantastic! That was that was really, really good. We've gotten far enough that it might be time to consider utilizing our gathered data to improve the next ship. Uh, click Prestige to, uh, to top up. Okay. Right. Oh my goodness gracious me. Defeat Sector 3 boss for next unlock distance is 60. We've just reached that, which is quite nice. New innovations are displayed here. Uh, we can determine the next loadout of the next ship, and we can utilize sector data here. We can view all of the information on previous sectors. Okay. Gatling laser. Oh, very, very nice. So we can upgrade to a frigate. We can adjust the... Ooh, look at that. We can adjust We can adjust the different... Uh, the different capabilities of the ship. And we can have multiple... Multiple different... Multiple different slots, actually. That is nice. That is nice. Okay. Do I want to go here? There we go. Boost. And fire rate. Yeah, I will say the fire rate of this thing absolutely, absolutely flipping sucks. It really, really does. Uh, continuous generator. Yeah, I, I like, I like this. I like, I like this a lot. This is, this is how we do, this is how we do it. Uh, let's continue to accumulate. Let's continue to accumulate. I like the look of this. I like the look of this a lot. I think this ship can go a little bit further, to be fair. I don't think that I particularly... There we go. I don't think I particularly need to go back right now. What do we got? Rapid fire 1.15 or laser power boost plus 75% for the, for that. I mean, it's, it's good. Let's get shields. Let's get shields. Which now are pretty spectacular. Compute power can be increased. Let's go max into shields this time. Turn about. And we're still doing materials here, which I am quite content just to sort of leave and let let that happen. Uh, there we go. There we go. Nice. I will say, having the ability to do the sort of Gatling laser, that would be a phenomenal upgrade to, to get, I think. I, re I really love the rapid fire ability on this. It feels like we're really chunking through the enemies when we're able to when we're able to get that up and running. Shields here. We need one more point in shields to unlock a shield multiplier or indeed a shield boost cooldown. I mean, 0 0.75 of 33. I mean, it's pretty good. It's really, really good. We're going to have to retreat here. We're being overwhelmed by faster, smaller ships. We may not be able to continue past this point in our current ship. You'll need to end it and leave it to the next generation. 
Um, use at least one Gatling laser and click on the prestige tab. Okay, we'll, we'll do that in a second. But you know what? I want to have one more. I want one more attempt uh, forward. Let's take the shield boost multiplier. It's down to 25 seconds. And you know, oh, that's, see, look at that. It's gone from 1.7. There we go. Rapid fire. Yeah, the rapid fire is is really, really nice. I do kind of dig it. Yeah, but even with that increased cooldown, we might uh we might have some problems. Holy cow. Yeah, okay, I see. This is yeah, this is bit of a bit of an issue. Uh utility one, we don't have any u utility uh items in the advanced computer lab i presume that that's the probably the next thing that we uh that we need to get yeah i think we're probably gonna struggle to get past this point should we try and prestige should we try and prestige uh reset i don't think we can change the ui theme i don't think we can i don't think we can really do that um ai ai points accumulation okay do i want to have two gatling lasers I think we have one laser turret and one Gatling laser. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's 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 absolutely do it. Let's see. Okay, ship explodes. Very very sad. Uh, we move into this. Move into this next run. So, uh, what does it reset? What does it reset? We have this. We've got the uh, the brand new abilities. However, th that being said, I think we do. What do we keep? What do we keep with us? We don't keep compute. We don't keep synth. We do keep the synth points and the upgrade so the salvage level we we're able to keep uh, which is quite nice that's very very cool indeed modules we don't keep v devices we do keep okay so that's going to give us what is this this is the fire rate multiplier which is quite nice and in fact we're about to we're about to prestige this which is quite nice uh oh we can't prestige it we need to we need to com presumably we need to combine two that's fine either way we're racing through this very very nice indeed and I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some additional shields. Get compute power. Max out the shields. Synth. We are working on the synth stuff, but it's just gonna take us a little while to get there. V devices. I need to just leave that. I need to leave that in there. And prestige. We don't really need to prestige. Right. I'd like to. I'd like to utilize the Gatling laser. I'd really like to utilize the Gatling laser. It's the same ability. Okay, it's the same ability for both the Gatling laser and the uh, and the cannon. At least it starts off that way, and then it sort of changes changes sort of course as we uh, as we go. Let's get the shields upgraded. Go beautiful. And so we should have two. We should have two cannons now. At least that's the uh, that's the plan. We're not going to have any difficulties with this with this thing at all. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at that! Look at that, that was amazing. Okay, so we're probably going to be able to get back to... We're probably going to be able to get back to the to where we were, like, reasonably quickly? Which I kind of dig, honestly. That is that is pretty amazing. Let's allocate resources over there. Synth-wise, we're doing completely fine. We need to get those offensive and defensive modules. That's very, very important. Keep combining here. Prestige, we obviously don't need to prestige until we get to Sector 5. And in fact, Sector 5 is going to give us the next, the next unlock anyway for what we need. The Gatling laser at least is going to give us the uh, the capability to hopefully uh, defeat the smaller ships a little bit faster, which is kind of nice. In fact, I wonder what the range is. Is the range different? Yeah, the range is very, very different. <laughs> well, I say very, very different. 600 to 575. We can have a little look. There's a range sort of indicator here we can see. Toggle that on and off. Not particularly bothered. AI points, we have the same amount. Uh, so I think they stick around between uh, between runs, which is completely fine. Let's move up compute power. Let's max out here. Excellent. What do I care about? Sure, we can probably get both the Gatling laser and the other thing upgraded. Laser boost cooldown. Laser boost duration. You know what? Let's keep the let's keep the the multipliers here. I think that's I think the 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 damage is what we more more probably need uh, at the moment shields 230 i mean it's it's more expensive isn't it it really is more expensive than than anything else but we're progressing nicely so you know no big deal no big deal there 
Salvage amount multiply. It's so good. It's so flipping good. It's so flipping good having the ability to collect more resources just like straight off the straight off the bat. We'll get that weapon damage, laser boost duration. Uh, yeah, you know, I think we'll keep. I think we'll keep the damage multiplier. I think. I think I'll keep the damage multiplier. The damage uh, per second on the Gatling laser, by the way, 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 way higher. In fact, double that of the laser cannon. So that's really, really nice. Get this upgraded, hopefully to the next level without me having to wait too long. That's good. Max shields are up. How is synth looking? Synth, in fact, we've picked a great moment to come and look at the synth because we should be able to with one, two, three, four of. Uh, for these bad boys, we should be able to get our first module up and running. The module that I think we're going to go for is the is the defense multiplier, because that is uh, amazing, frankly. I think it's really, really good. So we'll get the booster. We'll get that. And in fact, we're heading towards the next uh, synth, synth upgrade. So we can get this current effect one out of one. Current level one out of one. One out of one. Okay. There's, there's only, like, a few upgrades that do... Yeah, so Synth Max Shields, that goes up to level 10. It's completely fine. We're almost to the boss, by the way. That's kind of crazy. We're a little bit ahead of schedule. Should we chance it? I think we should chance it. What's the worst that's going to happen? Get that upgraded. Let's go into Shields. Sure. Uh, threat is imminent. Yep. That all upgraded. Beautiful. I mean, this is... This is us. Holy cow. Boost and boost. Oh my goodness gracious me. Wowzers. Okay, this Gatling laser absolutely slaps. Oh, we got an additional module. What is this? This is increases void matter recovered from enemies. I'm really interested in that, actually. Uh, I think I want to get this for now. We're going to get another booster. Sure, give me another booster and we'll immediately get that set up. Fantastic. And we'll note that. Excellent. And do I want to do anything else here? No, I can't do anything else here. Compute power is still kind of sucking a little bit behind the curve. It's good, and I guess we'll get the Gatling laser upgraded as much as we possibly can. We'll just leave it on the multiplier uh, for both of those. That's fine. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Turn you off. Get you activated. Turn on. Okay, so now we just need way more of this. Yeah, way more of that stuff. Okay, keep on moving. I think we can get to at least the third boss here. Without any difficulty whatsoever, I'd love to. I'd love to buy an AI. I'd love to buy an AI upgrade that doesn't like completely suck. Shields. We do need to work on shields. I'm probably not going to be able to get all the way to the next level. Not quite yet, anyway. Close though. Wow. I feel like we spent no time at all getting, getting back to where we were. Synth point upgrades. Yeah. What do I want to get here? Compute power, shields times 1.25 damage. I think we go damage. You know. I think we go damage just given the fact that I. I feel like we're, uh, we're we're good for shields, and we're going to be even gooder for shields. Let's go points of damage here. Yeah. So can we combine the full levels into, into each one? Maybe. I don't know. But who cares? We're building it. We're building it anyway. Let's grab that. Grab the void thingy. Uh, yeah, we're not getting much, we're not getting much, uh, not much void matter, even, even with our increased efficiency recovery rate situation. There we go, 1.25 times shields, holy cow. I mean, we, we definitely had more shields the last time that we did this, but, like, we've also, we also had a lot, you know, it took us, took us ages to get, uh, to get to that point last time. Right, let's let this get to, let's let this get to 60. We're definitely going to be able to beat the third boss, whether or not it's with this current configuration or whether we need to get the... There we go. Uh, whether we need to get this. We'll get four of these. That's fine. Making very, very nice progress. 
Still not enough computation power. Yeah, we, we definitely had like way more compute power last time. Again, fine, just sort of noteworthy. Let's get the Gatling laser upgraded this time so that we can... so that we can actually see it and utilize it. That'd be kind of cool. Nice. Make sure we're always combining here. Uh, I need that. There we go. Before... I think that's the one. Yep, that's the one that we needed. And that's going to give us the damage multiplier boost, which is going to be oh so important. Keep chunking away here. Gatling laser doing a power of work. Love to see it. One more compute level maybe before we hit the boss? Probably not. Probably not. I think we'll probably just be facing the boss on our current configuration at the moment. AI points still 130. Achievements all still looking good. We're actually almost to this here. Okay. That's nice. Uh, once we get to a thousand, a thousand enemies. Come on. Get within range. Get within range so that I can destroy you. Move forward. Move forward. Aggressively speed up. Nice. And in fact, our synth should be done right now. Beautiful. Let's get that created. Let's get it activated. Okay, that's three out of three modules that we've got uh, up and running. Let's just get back to... Let's get back to making the good stuff. One more of these. There we go. What do we got? Uh, rapid fire 1.15 or laser power boost plus 75%. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good to get. I'm not sure that I necessarily am that bothered. Let's let's work on some shield. Let's work on some shield now. We still have the shield uh, uh, booster, obviously. Gonna try and save that to going into whilst we go into the boss. We go. We should have no difficulties with that. We'll get a few additional levels of shield before we before we get there. And there we go. Shield booster. And no issues at all. Holy cow. A little bit close at the end there. A little bit of sort of, you know, squeaky bum time. But that's fine. And so now we're coming up against these enemies. We've actually already got a pretty heavily upgraded Gatling laser anyway. So as long as we're able to throw a few additional points into into shields, which I am absolutely able to do, we should have no issues. Uh, achievement unlock, that is the, you know, destroy X number of enemy... X number of enemy boss or uh, uh, enemies in general. That's AI points that we're going to get. Again, I really don't feel like spending any of my AI points on anything, to be brutally honest. But hey ho, that's completely fine. Um, yeah, I think honestly, this is this is a really really decent build. What was the next? Um, what was the next milestone? I think it was defeat sector five boss for the next unlock distance of 150. Uh, our highest distance was 75. I actually think that we can easily blow past 75 uh, right now uh, in just a second. As long as we keep the Gatling laser all sorted and fueled up and whatnot. As much as you can keep a Gatling laser fueled up. We're barely taking any damage on the shields. We're about to get the next shield damage multiplier. Yeah, I'd like to get the shield shield multiplier level. Yeah, Gatling laser is starting to do a little bit less damage. But honestly, it's mostly just the fact that our shields hadn't gotten up to 100% after we got that upgrade. Void matter, beautiful, smash that. I mean, computation power wise, we 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 didn't even get close to we didn't even we got we got way more computation power on the last run. But we've definitely done a lot better this run. Right. I think I just need more of these crystal things for additional salvage. There we go. Okay, max out two unique void shards. Excellent. Do I need to Check out that. No, I don't think I particularly care. But did that get us any AI points? It did. Adds an optimized button that distributes uh, compute power for maximal results. Sure. You know what? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's absolutely get it. We're still working, by the way, on the accumulation. That doesn't count towards. That doesn't come to count towards that. Optimize. Wow. It's. Wow. Would you look at that? It's. It's completely split. It's completely split. And in fact, optimize it again. Wow, I paid 150 points for that. I'm joking, of course. It will, it will matter uh, as we sort of like unlock all of these different uh, these different multipliers. For now, though, I, I, I gotta be honest. I'm not sure that it's actually that important. 
There we go. And that's our laser stuff. Oh my goodness, look at this. Gatling laser, we can work on that. Improved tracking. Uh, plus 0 0.1 damage per wave cleared. Soft cap at 1,000 waves cleared. Wow, a soft cap at 1,000 waves cleared. That's kind of difficult to believe. Okay, we have managed to blow past uh, basically where we were in le even less than half the time. Like, seriously less than half the time. And there's still so much to go. Um, anyway, ladies and gents, we're actually going to wrap up uh, this video right about now. Uh, I think I could do this all day. I probably will do this all day. Uh, Unnamed Space Idol, you should definitely check it out. It, I really love this sort of progression mechanic. It's really, really cool. I like the sort of boss fight mechanic. I like that. Obviously love the incremental elements that we've got. I love the fact that you can prestige, upgrade your ship, uh, unlock new buildings. There's just, there's there's more. There's more. Reach Sector 80, Sector 51. I mean, how many how many flipping sectors, how many fl flipping sectors are there? I don't know. You tell me. Um... You play the game. It's available for free uh, right now. Uh, check it out down below if indeed you're interested. It's linked in the description. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, ladies and gents. My name is Anubin Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.